In this research project, we are developing a phage therapy approach as a safe and efficient way to control the bacteria pastorella in farmed salmon. Pastorella is a bacteria that causes pastorellose in uh, Atlantic salmon. It uh, causes infections in various organs. It makes boils and fistulas and causes the fish to get sepsis and die. Antibiotics use in, in Norwegian salmon farming is extremely low because we have good vaccines. But there are ever emerging uh, new bacteria, new variants of, of uh, traditional bacteria. Uh, and vaccine development takes a very long time and some bacteria we, we aren't able to, to develop vaccines uh, against. So there is a desperate need really for alternatives to, to the vaccination strategy because the use of antibiotics is, is not acceptable. Pastorella, the bacterium we're working on in this project, is one of the bacteria that, that has proven difficult to, to generate good vaccines against. Pastorella was first uh, described about 20 years ago in Scotland and our role in this project is to look at the epidemiology of, of the bacterium uh, whilst we're looking for uh, phages which uh, attack the bacterium. Phages are essentially bacterial killing machines and they're absolutely everywhere. So for example in this pot there are about 100 million bacteriophages. Now they are incredibly specific, so for example Pasteurella, the bacteria we're interested in, there will just be a few phages that can infect it and what they'll do, they'll attach to the surface, they'll inject their DNA, they'll turn that Pasteurella into a phage making machine and hundreds of phages will be released into the environment. So because phages are such useful bacterial killers, they cannot be used to remove disease. So over the last decade we've been using them to remove diseases both from swine and poultry. And now what we want to do is introduce them into the aquaculture industry where they could again be very useful because you have a self-replicating medicine at the site of infection that doesn't kill the rest of the useful bacteria. So phages can be very effectively used to knock down the infection, infection pressure from any bacterium basically. And when we add it to the fish's environment, we knock the bacterium down and we greatly reduce the risk of, of, uh, of the fish obtaining and getting the disease. So in 2018, we launched uh, our first phage-based product for use in aquaculture in Norway. And I think we were the first in the world to, to launch a phage product against uh, this pathogen that causes disease in uh, fish. Uh, the bacterium is called Yersinia rucuri, and the product consists of two phages that are totally specific to this bacterium. They can only infect and kill this bacterium. In this project, we are using two complementary approaches to find phages which target Pastorella. One, the target approach is direct in the lab to isolate phages, specifically going for the bacteria. The untargeted approach is where we use our computational methods to digitally find phages in this vast amount of sequencing data produced in this project. We have collected samples from both healthy and sick fish and their surrounding environments in both Norway and Scotland. So here at the Molecular Laboratory in Copenhagen, we receive tissue samples from the salmon from the different farms and then we extract the DNA from both the bacteria and also the phages that might be associated with the bacteria. And once we have this DNA, we send it to our sequencing machines to generate large amounts of DNA sequence data to be analyzed. How do we find an organism which has a DNA sequence we have never seen before? We're using artificial intelligence where we create a catalog of features which together helps us to distinguish between phage-like DNA sequences and bacterial sequences. We're also developing new computational methods to predict if a phage is suitable for therapeutic use. 
So what we're doing in our lab is actually trying to bring these pages into, into life. <laughs> so we know they're there in this, in this big mix of all these millions of viruses, there will be some that can infect pastorella, but it's actually quite hard to find them, especially for diseases like pastorella that don't actually grow very well in laboratory conditions. So we're making good progress now, we're working out how to grow the bacteria as a lawn, and we're sampling all over Scotland to see where these bacteriophages may be, and then we're bringing them slowly uh, attempting to find the right conditions that we can bring these phages into culture. So phages will help the aquaculture industry. It will generate jobs along the coast. And, it, and at the same time, we're doing important uh, work towards solving the antibiotic uh, resistance crisis. I think using phages uh, to prevent outbreaks of pastorella is a good idea and I hope it works.